everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina, and I make videos about living in my tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. And lately, some projects that I'm doing in the van. It's a long weekend coming up. I've taken the Friday off, so I have a four day weekend, yay. And I am going out in the van. So I need to finish up the uh, privacy screens. I did the window shades for the side windows in a previous video, and I am working on the big front windshield winter, um, big front windshield screen blind uh, now. Um, I started it the other day. We're gonna finish it today. I just am out and about because I needed to pick up more black duct tape so that I could do the binding on it. And then it will be done. Um, and while I'm out, I'll take some video. Um, maybe I'll even do a rusty video because I think there's something that I wanna make in the van for you guys. Um, so. If that seems like something you wanna watch, stay tuned and we'll get that project finished. All right, so for the front window cover, blackout shade, I'm using two of these jumbo folding um, window sh sun shades. I had this one from when I had my old car, but I bought a second one, this jumbo one from Canadian Tire. They're the ones that, uh, hold on a sec, can you see that? You know, everybody knows what these are, or at least everybody in North America knows what these are. Um, they're the ones that fold up. We're gonna use the rest of this Bengta curtain, blackout curtain from Ikea. It's the one I used on the side windows. It's got a blackout black on the back. More of this Gorilla spray adhesive. And this time we're using silver duct tape. Might use black on the other side, actually. We'll, be use, we'll probably use black, mm, I don't know. But we're gonna use this for sure to, because one of these isn't big enough. I'm about to show you exactly what I mean. I apologize if the camera is swaying a little bit. It's a little windy outside, but I wanna have the side window open and I'm in a vehicle, so when I move, everything sort of shuffles. So last, um, a couple videos ago, I did a video on how I made the blackout shades for the side windows on both of these windows in the cab. Today, we're gonna make the window shade for the front window. And I'm not sure how this is gonna work because I haven't seen this anywhere, but in my mind, <laughs> it should work, but uh, we'll see. So what I've got is two of these folding window shades like I showed you, um, and I'm going to, sort of talk you through what I'm planning on doing and then we will give it a try and see if it's going to work she says hopefully so my goal is to use two of these one at the bottom you can see that it's wide enough to fit and then what I thought I could do is then taking the second one I guess we will see how this works, but taking the second one, I could then attach it. This is going to be hard to show. It really is. But taking the second one, I could attach it to the first one to make up the difference in space and come up to the top because there's enough of it to actually work. So that is what I'm talking about right here. Now, how will it attach? I haven't quite figured that out yet. I don't think these suction cups work very well. At least they've never worked in my, in my experience. That is the plan. It's as simple as that. Um, I know it's overkill because there's a lot of overlap. The other one is ending right here, but it to me just provides extra insulation on the front windshield but i'm not going to cut them i'm just going to tape along the bottom and the top of the two so i'm not going to cut them and uh, then cover one side with the black fabric the blackout fabric so that i have the option of having it blackout or um, reflectic because again we definitely want to take advantage of the uh, reflective reflective capabilities when it's really super sunny out to keep the uh, van cooler. Okay, let's get this, this bottom one in there. 
get in there, you someone of each, as my dad used to say. I'm going to pin instead of marking with a uh, marker. I'm going to see if I can pin these enough. All right, so here's what I've done. I've just pinned um, in a couple spots. With any bits of gaps that show through in the corners, I'm just gonna put a flange of duct tape there, double-sided black duct tape to cover that. Awesome. Okay, let's go inside and sort this out because it's cold out here um, and I wanna go where it's nice and warm. If you don't like fiddly, then spend the money to buy these already made. But if you're like me and you like to do things yourself and you don't like spending more money than you have to, um, then I think they're worth putting some effort into and um, doing them yourself. Because you get bragging rights, which is always good. Ouch. And you get the satisfaction of knowing exactly how things were made, which is also good. If you all knew how many times I have stabbed myself deep with a pin in my sewing life, ugh. I've drawn more blood, but I've been sewing since I was seven is when my mom taught me how to sew. So that's okay. It's just an occupational hazard. By the way, today is Mother's Day. This video won't go up on Mother's Day, but today is Mother's Day. So I just wanna say happy Mother's Day to all of you who are mothers to human babies and fur babies. Um, because they both count. Okay. Awesome. Let's go test it out. Or I'll go test it out. I'll be right back. Success. So now I'm going to duct tape both edges to get it to stay together because obviously the pins aren't going to stay. And that's what we want. This is very Canadian of me using duct tape on, on these window shades. I, I think that's kind of a Canadian stereotype, but it might be an American stereotype too, or other parts of the, of the world. But I know Canadians, we laugh that you pretty much fix anything with duct tape or build anything with duct tape. And well, you know, it's kind of true. There's a lot you can do with the duct tape. With, with the duct tape. Now, it's about to rain outside, so I don't think I have time today to put the backing on. So I'll have to do that another day. I'm 
not <laughs> quite long enough, but that's okay because I bought these straps from the dollar store. So the next time you see me, well, hopefully, it'll hopefully be a sunny day and we'll be outside and I will be using the spray adhesive to glue the blackout side onto here. It's done. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it was pretty darn easy to make. Well, working with that duct tape, like I've said before, is like working, it's like trying to manage snot on a wool blanket, but um, it was pretty straightforward to make. It didn't take long. Um, and now I have a blackout blind and a Reflectix for my big, huge ProMaster front window. You notice on the top here where it's naturally curved, I added a little extra duct tape because I noticed when I tested it that there was a little gap showing right here um, of light. So it's daytime, I can't test it out, but I will insert a little video at the end of how it looks from the outside when all the lights are on inside because I think it's going to work really, really well. The sound you're hearing is the so furnace nice. running. So there's the bedroom window. The passenger. You can see a little bit of light leaking through the sides, so I'm gonna have to make these just a little bit wider. But pretty good. You can just see a little bit. Nothing coming through the drivers. Over there. There's my little furnace. You can't hear it. You can't see it. Let me show you how much light is inside the van so you can get some perspective. Nothing showing through there. That's the amount of light that's in here. There's a little bit leaking in through the through the sides of the front cover, but really pretty good. I just need to make them, I'd say, about an inch and a half, two inches wider on either side, which I'm gonna do is easy enough to do. I'd say they're a success. They're definitely gonna work for 
my trip this weekend. Thanks for watching. Um, again, not the most exciting video, but I think really informative for those of us who don't want to spend a ton of money um, fitting out their camper vans, minivans, whatever you're going to camp in. Then this is a really good idea. The side window shades that I made a couple of videos ago, also super easy, good idea. There's just, you can spend a lot of money on beautiful blinds. Absolutely. They have magnets that um, are insulated and beautiful. Absolutely. You certainly can. Um, but I think that these are going to be pretty good too. With the double layer of Reflectix, I think they're going to also be insulating. And I'm not camping in the winter anyways, but I do think that they'll be insulating. And all it took was two of those, the, the extra large, the largest size you can get sunshades for your vehicle. You can buy them at any place. I buy mine. I bought mine at Canadian Tire here in Canada. And then uh, the rest of that bank curtain from Ikea, the first half I used for the side window shades, the rest I used for this, it cost me, I think it was $16 with tax, Canadian. So it'd be less in the US. Um, and so I used it all up. That was very efficient. That and black, that, that, and, that and black duct tape. Oh my God. <laughs> was and some spray adhesive was the or the only ingredients I needed it the only oh my god the only materials I needed to make this and now I'm ready for my first big camping trip of the season it's May long weekend coming up this video is obviously going to come out after that or maybe not depends on how well how fast I can edit it up but it is May long weekend I'm headed to BC camping in the camper van and I'm super excited to have these to keep the sun and heat out and also to give me privacy at night. For those of you wondering what happens to Sophie when I go away, uh, Jamie usually comes over and stays and uh, gives her lots of love. This weekend, it will be Keaton that's coming over um, and he also will be giving her lots of love. I suspect both of them overfeed her because I do keep her on a fairly strict uh, feeding schedule because as so many of you have pointed out she is rather um, plump but it's not because I overfeed her um, I, I assure you that she's just a big bone girl and there's nothing wrong with that so she'll be fine uh, I'm sure she'll miss me but not as much as I probably miss her um, and she's shedding so much right now because springtime and she's got to get rid of that heavy coat that she's got so mostly she just rubs it off on me and now I need my lid rolled. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Uh, I hope you're getting out and having some adventures in whatever way that looks like for you. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love you guys and I'll see you next week.